Hello, my fellow HubSpotters. This is Emma with Kiwi Creative. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use smart content in your HubSpot marketing emails. Smart content is a great way to display different copy, images, videos, links in your emails based on different segments of your CRM. Uh, some use cases of this could include showing different content to leads versus existing customers or providing different info based on geography, industry, um, or even customizing your content offering based on top of funnel versus bottom of funnel. Before we get started, there are a few HubSpot housekeeping tips regarding smart content. So for one to many marketing emails, you can utilize smart content. You can't use this feature in your one to one sales emails. As you know, that's pretty plain text. This feature is available in Marketing Pro and Enterprise tiers only, not for your starter. And you can use smart content in all your modules except for the footer. You can only select one category of smart content per module, and we'll dive deeper into that in a moment, but there is no limit to the number of rules in that specific module. And here's a pro tip, never utilize smart content on like a thank you page or a redirected page because there's not enough time for HubSpot to determine what version of the content that contact should see. And that means they'll end up seeing the default version, whether you like it or not. So once our segments are defined, you've made changes if necessary, we can go ahead and begin editing our email and adding in those rules. So I have a couple different modules, because if you can recall, we can add smart content rules to any of these, except this footer down here. So we can start with the image, right? So we'll say, click our image module, and you'll notice a pattern here, select more, add smart rule. In this new pop-up, you can select your different content based on only two things, list membership or lifecycle stage. We talked about that earlier. Now, this is what I mean by you can only pick one rule. If I select lifecycle stage, that's it. I can select customer, I can add another rule for SQLs, but you notice I cannot suddenly add a rule for a list membership. They don't cross pollinate in that regard. So you get to pick life cycle stage or list. For this example, we'll just pick life cycle stage and I'm gonna create two different versions of content, one for customers, one for SQLs. You'll now notice that image has smart module across the top. I'll give it another click. And now in the left-hand sidebar, editing for default and a little carrot. So my default version, I'll leave kind of naked so you can see the differences. But when I click that carrot and I select customer, I am now going to browse my images for a customer specific image. They're going to get purple kiwis. If I select SQLs from that same little carrot, they're going to get yellow kiwis. Okay. So now you can see purple, yellow, and of course, blank. Should you want to remove either of those lifecycle stages or add more, you can click manage and either delete using the garbage can icon, icon or add additional life cycle stages, not lists, right? Or vice versa. If you're basing this on list membership, you couldn't suddenly say, oh, I also want to look at life cycle stages. All right, let's head over to our rich text. Again, say it with me, drop down more, add a smart rule, okay? I am also going to stick with the life cycle stage theme here, customer, and I like doing them in the same order because the more modules you begin making smart, you can get into a cadence. Click it again because you notice the left sidebar is the content tiles. So I'll click that smart text again. And now I can see my editing for default, which is the default, or my customer. And I also want to add different text for my SQLs. All right. Looking at SQL, I'm looking at customer and the default. Last but not least, remember, you can also do this with a video, um, with a header, as that's an image. But what's really cool is when you can start directing different segments of your audience to different pages. Right. So in this instance, maybe a customer would see a write a review page and an SQL would be ask for a demo, download a free trial, whatever your bottom of funnel, you know, content offering would be. Same old, same old, more drop down, add a smart rule. 
sticking with my life cycle stage theme here. And I like staying in order because I need all the help I can get staying organized. And we'll save. Click it again. It's a onesie twosie. There's my default edit this button. Customer, I'm going to send them to uh, kiwicreative.net. And just for ease of following along, I'm going to change this button and say customers. That way we'll be able to see very easily what's going on here in this example. SQLs, um, you get to go to Google today. And my copy says SQLs. Of course, I could change the color as well, right? If we're feeling froggy. And to double check that for our own peace of mind, remember, look at default, customer, SQL, and default, right? So now we're kind of looking at a weird hodgepodge email. You have to double check it, right? Not only for your peace of mind, but if you have other additional members of your team or other departments that you'd be needing to proof this, it's going to look a little weird. So in the actions drop down in the top right hand corner, we'll set, select preview. Now this is where we kind of got to know how our data is sliced. I'm going to select a member of my database, Jeff. Okay. Jeff, I know for a fact is a customer. So this is what Jeff's going to see. Purple Kiwi, yay customers and the customer button. So now we know what our customers are going to see. Well, what about our SQLs, right? Check one out. I know it's an SQL and it all went according to plan. We have yellow Kiwis. We love SQLs and that red SQL button. Now, if we have someone that is neither of those life cycle stages, they see the default version. Blah. Uh, best practice dictates either be 100% about your data and your segmentation or have a backup default version. So your default perhaps instead of sending the more customer centric contact, write a review would be that content offering or would direct them to your web page. So either get your data on lock or have a fallback. And that fellow HubSpotters is how you add smart content rules to your marketing emails. Thank you.